And for four consecutive weeks starting on June 22nd, thousands of protesters have gathered each day in front of the Japanese Prime Minister's residence to express their outrage at the government's decision ordering the restart of the Ohi nuclear power station in western Japan. The Ohi station is the first to be restarted since last year's accident in Fukushima led to all of Japan's 50 nuclear reactors going offline. Although police made attempts at preventing citizens from reaching the protests by blocking subway exits, the gatherings have been described as the largest protests in central Tokyo since the 1960s. Organizers estimate that the protests which took place on Friday, July 14th, gathered as many as 170,000 people. According to Greenpeace Japan's executive director, Junichi Sato, the growth of a strong anti-nuclear movement reflects wider discontent towards the government for neglecting to protect the public from the dangers of nuclear radiation. In addition, a report released last week by an independent investigation team described the nuclear catastrophe following the tsunami in March of last year as a man-made disaster which was the result of human negligence, making the nuclear meltdown avoidable. The report pointed to collusion between the government and the nuclear power industry, which led to the delay of ordered safeguards and ignoring the risk of a tsunami. To learn more, we spoke with Sabu Kaso, a New York-based Japanese activist and writer. Last Friday, uh, as many as 170,000 people protesting in Tokyo. Um, Sabu, can you tell us what is, what is going on in Japan? Yes, I think basically uh, what I see is that the sort of second stage of the movement there, you know, uh, the fa uh, it's almost, it's been like a, a one year and three months, uh, four months, since the Fukushima nuclear accident. The first big rise was the, you know, one month after the accident. Uh, uh, you know, that was organized by sort of like a, a Tokyo-based uh, group called uh, 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 Amateur Rio. It's a sort of like a anti-authoritarian, uh, uh, alternative life-looking, uh, searching community group in the suburb of Tokyo called Koenji area. So this is like, uh, people were really surprised because this group succeeded in organizing a huge anti-nuke demonstration uh, rather than the traditional anti-nuke uh, groups. And uh, so this was the first sort of like a big uh, rise of the, you know, uh, street actions and uh, movement. And this uh, was general. last year, directly last after year, the Fukushima last, uh, disaster. Yes, last uh, April. And uh, meanwhile, uh, you know, like uh, uh, most of the, you know, uh, nuclear reactors in Japan, uh, in fact, all of them, one after another went into sort of like a test repose. So technically, uh, people have experienced uh, uh, like uh, their lives without nuclear power, you know. Uh, and, you know, people believe like it's possible that they could live without it, you know. And uh, despite this uh, hope, uh, government uh, uh, determined to restart uh, in the late uh, uh, June, early uh, July, and actually it has started, you know, in uh, Oi, in Squid Prefecture. That uh, really, really uh, angered people. And uh, meanwhile, people, uh, in uh, many main media included, people talking about why uh, they have to restart. And, uh, you know, government uh, and electric companies, some electric companies, emphasize that it's absolutely necessary uh, during the hot uh, summer uh, when like uh, people new need air conditioning and, and uh, other things. Uh, interestingly, in the main media, like uh, uh, officials of Kansai Electric Company, which actually owns this OE, uh, you know, nuclear plant, which have just started, uh, they reveal that it's not because the lack of electricity that they have to start starting. It's because uh, the company, all electric companies will go bankrupt without uh, uh, you know, actually operating nuclear power. 